This is a lesson on the Segovia scales, uh, a, a book of scales that uh, Segovia uh, had published uh, that, that uh, showed us how he practices scales. And while they're not necessarily a definitive way of practicing scales, um, there are many, many ways to practice scales and there are many books uh, that, uh, that are out there that contain lots of um, scale uh, patterns and combinations. One, one good one is the Royal, um, the Royal College uh, one in Canada. That has a, a book devoted to uh, different scales. So you can work out of that. But the advantage, the thing that makes the Segovia Scales book special or unique is that it focuses uh, mainly on shifting in the left hand, which is a very important uh, technical tool. Um, as you'll discover when you, when you get to, if you're playing intermediate pieces or advanced pieces. Um, well, even, even some of the uh, foundational skills pieces. Um, so, we'll just, uh, I'll just give you a, an example of the C major scale, and, which is a two octave scale, and then the G major Segovia scale, which is a three octave scale. So here's C major. I'm going to play it rest stroke and at a fairly slow tempo, just so you can watch uh, the left and right hand and as a as a as a model. So that's C major, and. That's probably one of the easier ones in, in this very short uh, book of scales uh, because it only has the one shift going up and the one shift going down. Uh, shifting, and in, in the shift happens uh, here on the third string, going from the fourth to the fifth. So when I shift, when I, I, I encourage you to, again, make the shift, use these scales as kind of a laboratory to make your shifts feel as effortless and uh, um, gravity-driven, if you will, as possible. If you're watching where your target is, so the aim-directed movement uh, principle uh, as explained by Aaron Shear, if I know that this shift has to occur on the fifth fret, then I'm watching that as I'm playing the two notes before it. And then I just simply let, sort of let my left hand go into it. And when you practice your shifts, you should not allow your first finger to collapse or hug the, the neck of the guitar. And I, I, I personally think that ascending shifts are a little easier than descending, than descending shifts. because it's a little bit harder to get that really legato sound. I recommend that you pr uh, practice the Segovia scales and, and try to get the smoothest transition between notes. In other words, no planting or no staccato, no detaché kind of articulation, but a very, that sweep stroke that you've been, of course, uh, practicing, where the fingertip doesn't stop at the string before plucking, and that your shift notes once you get pretty good at them, you can get them to the point where they don't, where it doesn't even sound like you're shifting. That's kind of the goal that I try to, to achieve there. A seamless shift that doesn't sound like this, you know, where you accent the shifted note and there's a little break in between. You want to try to try to smooth all that over as much as possible, and uh, you can set up a, a three, four, five, even different tempos on the metronome to practice them with. Um, my teacher growing up in Buffalo, Jeremy Sparks, uh, had me, uh, had, I did a metronome chart of them, where I would go from very, very slow, like 40 to the quarter, all the way to 100 or faster. And uh, I would fill out this uh, chart. And at each metronome uh, tempo, a stop along the way, uh, for example, at 60, He would, uh, he would have me practice the scales at uh, the eighth note subdivision. The eighth note 
triplet subdivision. And then the 16th note. I also uh, would add to that, I would encourage you to practice them both with the free stroke that I was demonstrating and also with the rest stroke. And then just to give you another example of the three octave scale, uh, which has more shifts in it, uh, the G major, and I'll play that rest stroke. I've been practicing these scales for years, ever since I was about 10 years old, and they've really helped to uh, clarify a lot of the issues about shifting on the guitar, and uh, I know they will for you as well. Thanks.